For this video, I'm going to be checking out the Deezerland Arcade and Go-Kart Track, located in Orlando, Florida. Well, it was inevitable. I really enjoy arcades, family fun centers, and go-kart tracks, so I decided to check one of the newer ones. Uh, Deezerland kind of opened in the middle of the pandemic, circa 2019, and they've been gradually expanding and building here on International Drive in the, the heart of Orlando when it comes to tourist attractions. Uh, there's a ton of arcades competing with this one. You know, there's massive arcades at Fun Spot and Magical Midway and Wonderworks has one. There's so many uh, arcades that you can lose track. Uh, it just happens to be, you know, the nature of the, the tourism business. This supposedly is the absolute largest arcade in Orlando. And I think that's what they claim in, it, in the marketing materials. And I would say that that probably should have an asterisk next to it. This is clearly the largest facility for an arcade by far. This place is absolutely massive. It was a former mall and has been converted into like uh, this indoor theme park, you know, idea. And it's still a work in progress. They do have the absolute largest facility of all these, um, you know, similar attractions when it comes to arcades. When it comes to the arcade machines themselves, they really don't have a lot of arcade machines. Most of the stuff they have are like uh, games of chance, like skee ball and um, the crane kind of games and those type of things where you're pulling things out of like you know those big ball pits and stuff. So when it comes to arcade machines themselves, it's actually kind of thin, and I was surprised at how few classic arcade games they had. You know, I didn't see Galaga's and Pac-Man's and Defenders and froggers and that type of stuff which most arcades usually have a couple of the classics but everything that they had was mostly racing games and um you know dance dance like revolution type games they didn't have a lot of of like traditional arcade machines and you know i i definitely noticed those type of things so this go-kart track is probably the most amazing one that i've ever seen indoors and there's several tracks to choose from uh, the one thing I will say is because it's an indoor go-kart track, there is a price premium over traditional outdoor go-kart tracks. For example, if you go to Magical Midway or Fun Spot down the street on iDrive, it's going to be a lot less expensive. It cost me about $30 to go a couple laps around this track, and that's pretty pricey. I mean, I don't think it's a... I mean, I, it, it comes down to your personal preferences. Personally, I don't care if the go-kart track is indoor or outdoor, so... I think moving forward, I'd probably go back to go-karting outside just because it's so much less expensive for me. So what's the bottom line for Deezerland Arcade and Go-Kart Track? I'm going to have to give this one a mixed review. The arcade is just so expensive as well as the go-kart track. There are better attractions here at Deezerland. I definitely think the car museum and the James Bond museum are just a lot more compelling and much better values. Uh, you can easily drop 50 bucks an hour uh, playing those arcade games because a lot of those machines are two three dollars and the other thing i don't like about the arcade is you'll notice that they have like four or five six ten of the exact same machines lined up like ski ball and those ball drop machines whereas i kind of wish they had more variety of, of machines the oversight that i also found was that they lacked the classics like you know the pac-man the froggers you know if they had a couple of those compilation machines that had like 20 like classics like you know galaga and uh, frogger and, and and moon patrol and all those old classic games then i'd probably give the arcade a much higher review they do have a really nice uh, prize department where you can redeem a lot of 
impressive prize. It's probably the best selection when it comes to uh, prize redemption. But overall, like I said, I'm going to give this an overall mixed review. It's solid, but it's definitely a work in progress. Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Shmup. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.